that will help alleviate the pain associated with diabetic neuropathy. A Connecticut doctor who's been using the technology for the last few years calls it a game changer. Here now to tell us about it is Dr. James Yu, orthopedic surgeon with the Connecticut Orthopedic Institute at Mid-State Medical Center. Doctor, welcome. Hello, thank you. Thank you for having me. Great to have you. So first, explain what diabetic neuropathy is and what are some of the symptoms? Yep, diabetic neuropathy is a long-term complication of diabetes. Uh, high blood sugar levels cause damage to the nerves, uh, resulting in severe pain, numbness, tingling, and sometimes weakness uh, that disables patients. All right, doctor, the new treatment for this is spinal cord stimulation. Tell us all about that. Yep, spinal cord stimulation has been around for a while. Uh, it involves two uh, aspects. One is a, a small lead that's placed over the spinal column, and one is a battery generator uh, that generates a small microelectric signal that interrupts the pain signals. We have a picture uh, that I can share with you. Uh, the implant is placed as an outpatient. The patient uh, comes in and goes home the same day. And what it does is it interrupts the painful stimuli from the spinal cord that gets to the brain. And then it also enhances blood flow to the lower extremities by relaxing some of the nerves in the arteries, uh, thereby relievi alleviating pain in that way as well. How big is that device, doctor? Uh, the device is uh, relatively small. It's about uh, as small, small as a, a AAA battery almost, wow. maybe two AAA batteries. Uh, the electrode is also very small. It's very thin uh, and fits be over the spinal canal. Amazing. All right, how does this compare to traditional treatment for this condition? Yeah, so a good question. Uh, traditionally, the treatment has been for uh, using medications that uh, work on the brain, such as antidepressants, anticonvulsion medications, and pain medications. Unfortunately, these medications cause a lot of different problems like lethargy, uh, somnolence, memory loss, and weight gain, which is a very bad thing for people with diabetes. So about 50% of people uh, will abandon the medications uh, because of the fact of the side effects alone. All right, tell us about who is the ideal candidate for this new procedure. The best candidates are patients that have debilitating pain on a daily basis uh, that affects their everyday lives. They have difficulty sleeping, uh, difficulty walking. Uh, it affects them no matter what, if they're sitting, if they're standing. Uh, it happens, uh, it, it affects them all the time. Uh, they have pain, uh, severe numbness and tingling in the legs, sometimes in the pelvic area uh, as well. Uh, this diabetic neuropathy can attack all different types of nerves in your body and lead to many, many different uh, symptoms. All right, doctor, we have about 40 seconds left. Tell us about the results that you see in some of your patients. It's a great question. Uh, we've had, uh, I've been doing a national study uh, for the past three years uh, looking at uh, this particular problem in patients with back pain and leg pain. Uh, and the results have been uh, really, really powerful. About 85% of patients uh, will achieve a meaningful uh, relief of their symptoms, um, both in their back and in their legs. Uh, so it's really a big uh, change in our uh, thought process on how to treat these patients uh, in a very successful manner. Wonderful. Relieving pain. That is great. Dr. James Yu, orthopedic surgeon with the Connecticut Orthopedic Institute at Mid-State Medical Center. Thanks for joining us.